hello guys welcome back to the channel today we are solving another lead code problem that is 1838 frequency of the most frequent element before jumping into the solution i would highly recommend you should read the problem statement on your own and give at least 15 to 30 minutes to this problem so let's get right into it what problem is asking that you are given a array and what you have to do is get the possible frequency maximum possible frequency and as you can see it is not possible in this state but you are given a case k using that k you can increase a number by one you can increase a number by one how many times at most k times you can increase any number by one at most k times for example let's see let's take a four there is no other four except this one can we make this one to four yeah we can how we do that operation three times we add plus three when we add plus three what we get four four eight thirteen that is the max we can do in order to make the frequency of four larger we cannot decrease eight or three so this is our limit that we can do so we have a frequency of 2 now let's take a 8 can we make 4 to 8 yeah we can if we add plus 4 can we make 1 to 8 no because we have left only 1k we have used 4 times only one operation is left in one operation we can get 1 to 2 at max so still maximum frequency is 2 if we take something like this 13 can we take 8 to 13 yeah plus 5 but we have 0 we have no operation left so what we can do nothing so what is the maximum frequency that we are getting it's 2 13 and 13 so this is what you have to do you have to just return the maximum frequency by selecting a one number and see if we can get other number smaller than him to that number we have selected equal to that number we have selected this is the problem that we have to solve so first thing first first observation that what we have to do is we can when we select a number we can only increase and when we can only increase we should select smaller than them so how we get smaller than them we do sort and you can see in the problem it is nowhere written it is sorted but in the test case they are having sort sorted order but there is nowhere written that it will be always sorted so we need sorted also also what we are doing we are making a segment we are making segment so whenever you have something like this making segment which algorithm is best when we do such kind of thing which algorithm strikes your mind in the case of eight this was our segment which algorithm i think the sliding window i think the sliding window let me just close that i think the sliding window but now the case arise it is not something like substring yeah it is not but how are we gonna take the decision when to move end and when to move start because in sliding window we use start and end pointer but how are we gonna take that decision let's see let's take this example 1 comma 2 comma 4 and we have given k is 5 let's see 
we take one we can do nothing because we cannot decrease anyone we can only increase so nothing to worry about one let's see we took two now it will convert something to like this two 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 yeah so if we get this if we get this two 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 what is the sum four and what was sum previously three if we add plus k can we get to this easily we have eight we have four we can get to that so whenever we are able to attain that sum that ideal sum that perfect sum and everyone is equal in that segment in this segment if we are able to achieve that what we will do store it that we got two frequency and what we do we increase it and we will check can we get better can we get more frequency because as you know what we are doing we are, have sorted so only when we took two we have only one smaller so how to get the frequency higher is we take a little larger number and see if the smaller number can catch up to the larger isn't it so let's take one two four now segment is this what is the sum over here seven and what will be the sum if everyone is equal it's 12 if we do plus five can we reach it yeah we can reach it so how much is the frequency now from two to three so this is how we are getting we will be using sum not sum we will do the sum and see if we add k because basically we are adding plus one if we add plus k and if we are able to reach this ideal thing where everyone is equal so what we do we just increase we just increase the end if we are not able to do what we do we have to shrink this window what we do we push the start forward that is pretty much clear so what we will do is we will check if the current sum plus k will fetch the ideal condition where everyone is equal so that much is clear that's how we gonna do this so let me write the algo first is we do sort you know why next is we have start and end and we will have a sum current sum so what we will do is we will start iterating start start iterating over the array over the array and what we will do we will have the current sum and we will check if the current sum plus k is less than the element we have selected into the length that's how we are getting this sum for example 4 into 3 how many times 4 3 times so also the length is 3 we have taken this number 4 so how much should be the sum is 12 so basic maths so this is what we will do and if that happens what should we do what should we do because we did add it so we have to remove it how we remove it by start increasing start you will know the syntax but this is how we'll 
increase the start and minus it also this is what we gonna do and if if let me and if this condition never strikes what we do if this is where we can get if this is reachable what we do we just calculate it how are we gonna calculate it just basic thing if this is the length we are not talking length but still the length you can say how many four you have three basically same thing frequency length similar length so length comma and minus start here we have max so what we will do is and this is end and we just return the answer the length so what we are doing let me zoom it out a bit what we are doing sort it basic start end or sliding window current sum we'll start iterating over the array calculate the sum we will check if it is the current sum is able to reach with the help of k to that what we will do we'll just calculate it and if we were not able to what we will do shrink the window size so we are shrinking and also subtracting subtracting the start and from the sum if we write if we i if i write it properly and and the start is also increased i hope this much is clear let's see the code and i will dry run that to have a better understanding so basic thing result one one is the minimum frequency that you can have because why not one because you are present so one should be the frequency so basic common sense yeah start and sum sort it as discussed why not gonna repeat just iterating calculating the sum and what we check if if the current sum was able to reach it was able to reach it we will go over this if not we will just subtract what we added previously that's it why long because it can get long we are doing multiplication so that's why for no overflow so let's take this code and dry run it let's take this code and dry run it and yeah this is the code and this is the test case we are dry running yeah <clears throat> so one two four and k is five already sorted s is over here end is over here and you can see n plus plus watch it and is increased when it is plus so sum is now one one and e is over here now because it is increased and current sum is plus one you can also see we have selected one same thing we have selected one so sum is currently one and k is five and we will check what we will check which number we did take one and minus one that's why and minus one points to one which number did we took one one into what is the length if it's zero one two one and minus a start one it's six we can we are able to reach it so what we do n minus start n minus start 1 minus 0 and result is 1 what will be the max 1 so for that our result is still 1 now now what we will do we will compute 2 now sum is 3 this time 5 plus 3 8 and which number did we select 2 we are seeing how many two we can have 
we did select two as you can see and minus one e would be over here my bad as you can see e end plus plus we did so and n minus start two minus zero two minus zero four we can reach to eight so what is the length now again max is one n minus start result is now two let's see now we uh, now we add four now e is pointing to three now we add four what is the sum 7 plus 5 12 and we have selected 4 we have selected 4 what would be the sum in this condition if everyone is 4 into length and minus start as you can see end is on 3 and start is on 0 so n minus start so 12 is not less than 12 so as you can see again 2 comma 3 minus 0 result is 3 and after that we just return because we got greater than num size num size is 3 so i hope i was able to make my intuition pretty much clear and we are getting 3 and also in the test case you can see we are getting 3 so let's submit it and see if it is submitting or not yeah it is submitting i hope i hope i uh, i was able to make you understand my intuition you did understand the algo the code and if you did so consider subscribing to my channel liking this video and sharing with others so you have to do what you have to do so keep grinding you guys are awesome see you in the next one bye bye